What's up everybody, how's it going? I want to take you on a quick trip through EverQuest Next Landmark. Uh, I've been playing this a lot this past weekend, the alpha just opened up, so this is a very, very, very early version of the game, so keep that in mind as we encounter all sorts of bugs and problems. Uh, but what is EverQuest Next Landmark? Well, it's a voxel-based crafting MMO. I know that sounds a little complicated, so let me put it into simple terms. Imagine if you would, if uh, Minecraft were a massive uh, MMO, and instead of using blocks, everything was voxel based, meaning look, no like square edges, rough edges, things like that. Um, the way things break, the way things happen, uh, very more dynamic, uh, very interesting. So what this is in its current form is a gathering and crafting, uh, I don't know, program. Uh, it's basically the precursor to what will become EverQuest next, you know, an actual full-on MMO with mobs and creatures and things and uh, questing and all that kind of stuff. But the first part here is actually kind of getting you into the, the game engine, assuming this is what they're going to be using. I don't see why it wouldn't be. And uh, kind of teaching you some of the, the crafting parts of it because the game is going to have actual land claims and building, uh, destruction, all that kind of stuff. So all the things that have never really been done in an MMO before, they're trying. And, you know, I think it's amazing, but I have my reservations about it. Uh, and I can show you a few examples as to why. Uh, currently, I logged in to where I thought was my server. Um, I should have logged in where I have my claim and my land, but that's not what happened. So we're going to need to get that sorted out. Uh, again, uh, I'll have to play the alpha card here and say that... Uh, Bugs are to be expected. So here's the map. Uh, to give you an idea, every part of the world right now is simply an island. There are multiple islands, uh, and you can claim a piece of land on these islands. Now, I'm going to click this button here, and then I'll explain. Every one of these squares is somebody's claim, meaning that they own that piece of land. So as you can see, it's pretty much just overrun with people owning this. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, my claim is not here. What does that mean? I'm on the wrong damn server again. Even though I logged into the correct one, the game kind of put me in a bad spot. Uh, that's okay, it's not a bad spot per se, it's just a different spot than what I'm used to. Uh, things you can do. Uh, you can run around and harvest trees, you know, okay, hello tree. Actually, I need to harvest trees. I'm looking for some specific uh, materials so I can build an upgraded pickaxe, so I can go get upgraded ores. I'll explain all that as we go forward here a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, I'm hacking away at this tree. You'll see this green bar at the top there. If I let that green bar go all the way down to the bottom, this tree goes poof. That's it. The tree is gone. It's off the map. It's off the world. Um, it may respawn somewhere, but for the most part, when I do this, and I, I'm going to take this tree all the way down. I'm like, goodbye tree. We don't like you. All right. Uh, when I do that, this tree is gone. It's off the world. So somebody else comes running by here, they will not see this tree anymore. This tree just will no longer exist, which is the coolest thing ever. Um... You know, the fact that everything like that happens kind of in a real-time situation here. Like, I can be digging holes all over the ground, and uh, whoever liking coffee over there uh, is could be running down this path and all of a sudden uh, fall into those holes that I've created that weren't there before. So it's very cool. It's very neat how that works. Uh, I, You know... I'm just kind of blown away by this. I mean, I was like the first nerd boy there was uh, to pre-order this the second they offered it up and right after they did their reveal at SOE Live. Um, but, man, I gotta tell you, the concepts that they have here are fantastic. But let's get into a couple of the negatives while I'm running to the, the port. Oh, this is a bad sign. Oh, I've got little warning things. Okay, landmark menu. Okay. This is the first time I've seen these. Okay, the first time I've seen those little dialogue boxes. Anyhow, let's get into some of the negative things. All right, uh, I'll ask you guys a question. It's kind of rhetorical since you can't answer me back. But what happens when you give players unlimited freedom to build and do and destroy things? They abuse it, right? Like, that's just the nature of how humans are. They will go out of their way to break something or ruin something for other people. What worries me about this game, and the reason that I haven't encountered it yet, uh, is mainly because resource acquisition is pretty slow. I mean, you need to get a lot of resources to make things in this game. Uh, but, you know, 
I'm surprised that as I walk through the, the forest here, I'm not seeing a bunch of dick statues, to be completely honest. Um, you know, anytime you give people the ability to have a little bit of freedom, uh, make stuff, do stuff, whatever, with no limits, people abuse that. Uh, the other thing that might be stopping that from happening right now is in order to get into this, uh, you need to pay either 60 or or $100 for like a pre-purchase thingy. So I'm assuming that most of the children uh, haven't really put together 60 or $100 or convinced mom and dad that, you know, this is a good idea yet. And as such, there's probably not as many uh, idiots available on the server at the moment. But when this thing goes open beta, oh my god. Uh, oh look, I'm flying. Uh, when this thing goes open beta, look out, run away, hide, cry, do whatever you gotta do, because the world will be destroyed, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, see, I'm on the wrong server again. Okay, so, la la la, where's my world? Uh, it was probably up at the top, wasn't it? Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. There it is. Okay. Let's hope I make this transition without crashing. It says I have no claims there, but that's frightening. Alright, I'm gonna fall into the world like I did last time. Wee! Alright. Oh my god! By the way, alpha, glitchy, stupid. I have to wait till I, like, I, I walk forward until I actually find some solid land is what happens. You know what, I'm just gonna let my guy, there we go. Alright, so, as you can see, I now have this checked to my claims, and look! My home is over here! So I'm going to go show you what I've been building, assuming it's still there. Um, doo -doo -doo. But pretty much, w let me show you something on the way there. Uh, you see like all these different colorations of rocks and things like that? This is copper. So I can sit here and just hammer away at the copper. La la la. See? And I'm collecting copper and some stone and some dirt. And that's it. And maybe about 20-30 minutes from now, this hole will fill itself back in. But for the most part, um, any destruction that you make in these public areas... And public area I use as a loose term because technically all of this land is either owned by someone or in somebody's, like, buffer. I'll explain that in a minute, too. Uh, so, it's not exactly public land. And also, I, I seem to have a little bit of pop-in going on with my graphics. I had to turn it down a little bit so I could actually record it. Uh, I can run the game perfectly fine at maximum, ultra, whatever, but uh, the second I go to record, it, it tends to eat itself, so I've had to trim it down just a little bit to make it uh, tolerable for you guys. Although it's still absolutely gorgeous, and I do apologize, my timing on this is terrible, it's a little dark, but you can see, you know, sun rising over there. Uh, the game is gorgeous, there's just no doubt about it. The game is absolutely phenomenally gorgeous. Okay, I cannot mine that yet because um, I don't have the upgraded mining pick. That has been my goal and what I've been working on for like the longest time. I've had such a hard time finding the uh, stupid crystals that I need to do that. But let me show you where I live. You guys might like this. You see this mountain up here in the distance? The one with the one lone tree on it? Yeah, that's my mountain. All right. I was one of the first people to get on here the night that it went live, and I just blitzed my way to a mountain because I'm like, God damn it, I want a mountaintop retreat. That's what I want. I want something with a view. I want it so people can't build next to me. And that's the thing. That's the buffer that I'm going to tell you about because people can't necessarily build right next to you. Um, as you can see, as I'm starting to get into my area here, you can see... I don't know who that person is, but whatever. Um, you can see how I've got this border up here. Let's get up to the very top so you can see what's going on. Up, 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 up. Glide, glide. All right. See, I don't actually own this part of the mountaintop because, you know, there's not enough room here, right? But it's in my protected area. So as you see the white box on the outside... This is a protected area, meaning that people cannot build within my protected area. Now, there's a problem with that. They can build under it because I am up on a mountain. So people all along can build stuff along the base, but I don't think they really can. They, there isn't really a way to do that. Now, inside the gold box here is my actual crafting area, meaning I can build anything I want in here. Uh, let's see. Well, this is a bad sign. Everything I built yesterday is officially gone. Wow. Um, okay, I'm going to actually cut some of my um, streaming 
footage from yesterday and impose that into here. So assume that uh, sometime there. Okay, watch streaming footage. Anyways, uh, oh look, all of my crafting stuff, everything is buried in here. This is fucking stupid. Alright, um, but, you know, alpha, whatever, it's all lost. Um, everything that I made here seems to be gone. That's kind of not cool. Uh, I was hoping that maybe if I put a block down it would make it spawn again like yesterday, but that does not seem to be the case. Okay, so, god damn it. Well, anyways, this is my claim. Uh, I can do anything I want here. I can cut out the land, so I'll show you. There, I cut out the land. Um, I can undo that. I can come over here and there. Let, let's let's dig out my uh, my crafting stations and everything that I had here before, huh? Yeah, look at that. Wouldn't that be nice if my stuff still existed? I had a kick-ass building here. Of uh, jeez. So, assuming that I actually did the work and did the editing to show you guys that, uh, you'll be able to see it. I had a basement with some stairs and some, oh my god, it was so amazing. And it's all gone. So, what have we learned? We've learned that uh, spending some time on this right now, not the best option. But uh, here's some crafting stations. And basically, what you do, uh, it's kind of like Minecraft in a sense, where, okay, I can come over here, I can craft. Um, 
Not yet. I want to craft that pick. All right. So, do do do. What do I need to do? I need to craft here. I need to make some wood. And I still don't have enough stuff to make that particular wood, and I need more. Anyways, you can craft a whole bunch of stuff um, from furniture to tools to you name it. And then you can actually build. So, for instance, here, I'll show you. I can't build on top of my head, apparently. Oh, I guess I don't have enough dirt to actually do that. Here, let's build it smaller. Dirt, 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 dirt. dirt. You know, you can build all sorts of crazy things. So, uh, here, I mean, you can build spheres. There, now it's a dirt circle. Um, you can build, I mean, corners and, and all sorts of stuff. So here, I'll build that. And the idea is, is that you can build entire buildings, structures, anything you want. Uh, it's unfortunate that I've lost everything that I was doing before because it was really rather neat and I was really hoping to complete it today, but I guess that's just not going to happen. I'm just going to rebury all my stuff and cry. So what this is all about really is you run around, you gather materials, and you build stuff. And then you have your hopes, dreams, and everything else crushed into oblivion when the stuff that you build disappears. Like, for instance, I know there was a guy up on top of this mountain behind me here, and he was building some asshole dugout. See what I mean? Somebody digs out the, the thing, and now I get stuck in a hole. Uh, there's a guy up here building this massive kind of box of stone yesterday. And I thought to myself, all right, well, that's cool. Um... You know, I went up there and jumped off of it and tried to kill myself, but there is currently no fall damage, no way to die in this game at the moment. They do plan to add monsters, and they do plan to add things as they go, but again, this is very early alpha, designed almost entirely and specifically just for a little bit of crafting demonstration. Uh, with that, let's see. We can go exploring. I mean, it's very pretty. Uh, the sun is coming up. I do need to gather a lot more materials. Uh, gathering materials is kind of boring in a sense where I'm not going to bore you guys with it, uh, you know, while I'm recording or anything like that. Uh, but I do need to give a shout out to my uh, streaming channel, basically. I need you guys a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of shameless promotion here. Uh, I was streaming this for a good while all weekend. I had a lot of fun, a lot of people coming along for questions and things like that. Um, go follow me there because I don't know how much I'm gonna be doing of this on YouTube or on the channel it's kinda of one of those odd things to do especially in its current form uh, where the game is broken and I lost all my progress uh, things like that eh, it's not very good to make videos like that but it is good to stream because I can freeform I can talk I can do whatever I want uh, we can just BS and, and you know all kinds of stuff like that I don't have to worry about a structured 20 30 minute video for YouTube so please go follow that information is in the description below um, you know if you have any questions if you have any thoughts if you're playing this game be sure to look me up uh, I am just uh, known as unfair I uh, got a couple of my friends in here too so you know we got a little group going unfortunately there are no group tools or anything like that yet no guilds no anything fancy so we're, we're not that far along yet as soon as they do add that kind of stuff we'll definitely be uh, putting something like that together and having a community thing going uh, another thing, man, this makes me so sad because I had such a cool looking place over here. I'm sad I lost it. I am. I am so sad. Uh, oh well. But as you enter here, it should say, see? Unfair's Mountaintop. And then it's got my little Twitch TV thing in there. You know, again, some, you know, shameless promotion. God damn, am I so sad that that's lost. It was looking so cool, guys. Um, you know, I, I have some streaming footage. There will be links to the full stream in the description. And I'll impose some of it in here, edit it in, either at the end, now, or whatever. Um, you know, hopefully you've seen it. I, it really depends on what I do here, because my video editing is... I get lazy. Let's just put it that way. Um, with that said, this is just kind of a quick look, I suppose. Um, impressions are, man, this game has a lot of potential. Boy, am I worried about it, and damn am I pissed that I lost everything that I built over the weekend. Uh, beyond that, uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, is it worth picking up? Is it worth spending the money on right now? I have to say, in all honesty, no. Hold off, wait a little while. Uh, the packages to get into this are $60 and a $100. The $100 package gets you some fancy nerdy stuff like different outfits and 
um, a couple other things. Whereas the $60 one is a little more basic, but still gets you in and playing the game. Uh, at this particular moment, as you can see, since I lost all of my freaking progress from the weekend, um, as well as just... It's very rough right now. It's very, it's very playable, but it's also very rough. Um, the servers are crashing constantly. I'm surprised they haven't while I've been on. Uh, but then again, it is early Monday, so most people are probably at work. Uh, but I would say hold off. Give it at least a couple weeks. Uh, don't rush into this one. It is amazing. I guarantee people will have a blast with it, especially if you're into Minecraft or things like that and the building stuff. But... Give it a little bit of time to get some of the more basic things ironed out because as it stands, um, you know, uh, it's very, very glitchy. And even though it's alpha, and you cannot be upset about that. I mean, it's an alpha, you have to expect that you're going to lose all your stuff and you're going to have to expect that they're going to wipe things and reset things and it's going to crash. So I'm not upset about that. I'm just, you know, annoyed because I really wanted to show you guys that stuff because I worked really hard at it. But uh, that's pretty much the segue into don't get this just yet not yet wait a little bit wait a couple weeks wait till they uh, polish this up or add a few more features or uh, kind of get things under control maybe even open a couple more servers so they're not crashing the two that they have um, then I would say without any hesitation pick this thing up and play it like crazy because it's going to be a lot of fun uh, this game is going to be huge when it actually hits the mainstream and whenever quest next sometime in the next decade actually gets made and released if it has even half the features that just this bare bones alpha has my god is it going to be the most amazing game ever created so with that if you guys have any other questions or any other thoughts do let me know uh i'm always around we've got forums we've got the comments here things like that um i always look forward to hearing from you let me know, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.